Once you've got all your steam machines up and running and you've got your coal and your coke and your steel, there's only one thing stopping you from getting to low voltage and leaving the steam age forever. And that, my friends, is a basic electronic circuit. This is the gateway into low voltage or LV and getting rid of steam and getting electricity. So how do we make a basic electronic circuit? Well, there's a few things we are going to need. Number one, we are going to need resin printed circuit boards. These are made from resin circuit boards and copper wire. Copper wire and all other wires like tin, etc, etc, are made with a wire cutter. Again, you can make an iron wire cutter with some basic tools, etc, which is what I would recommend, and you just cut plates into wires. The resin circuit board is made with sticky resin, which I'll show you how to get, and wood planks. Wood planks made in your low-pressure steam compressor from wood pulp. Wood pulp is made in, well, I can't remember, the macerator. And you basically macerate logs into the wood pulp, which you then make into wood planks in the compressor, and then use resin to make your resin circuit boards. Now, how do we get sticky resin? Well, you can smelt up slime balls, but my guess is going to be that you probably don't have a billion slime balls laying around. In Tega and alike biomes, you will find these rubber log trees. Now, unlike in the olden days in IC2, Industrial Craft 2, you will not get the little resin um, like blob on there. What you actually do is get an axe. Oh, you won't believe this. This is really crazy stuff. And, well, you just chop the tree down. And as you can see, I'm getting a rubber log, but I'm also getting a piece of resin with every, or nearly every, um, it's probably about 70% drop chance, I think. Uh, there you go, you've got four sticky resin there. So that's how you get your resin. Um, find these rubber trees. They're, they can be quite rare. I think it's like a 20% chance of them to spawn, and they're only, in my belief, uh, and this is from the wiki, um, Tega biomes that you will find them. So that's how you get your sticky resin. And hence, that's how you get your resin circuit boards. Another item is a vacuum tube, basically using uh, glass dust and a casting mold. So I haven't spoken to you about casting molds, so let's talk about those now. Obviously, here you're using a low-pressure steam alloy smelter. Glass dust, you can just smash up some glass with your hammer like a reckless hooligan. And then molds, there's loads of different molds. You basically make an empty mold with some steel plates. And then you use your hammer to bash it into this. So if I look at empty molds, you'll actually see that basically, depending on where you put your hammer in the crafting grid, is dependent on what mold you can make. So there's loads of different molds um, that you can make there. And then the rest of it you should know how to make. And there you get your vacuum tubes. There's resistors, which are going to need some sticky resin paper. Um, carbon dust, which at this point in your macerator, you'd look at doing um, ores with never graphite and things like that. Um, and basically just, um, what's this one as well? Yeah, graphite ore. Um, you basically would like to get some carbon dust. There's a 14% chance from macerating um, those up. And also deep slate, yeah, graphite ore, etc. So you need to find your ore veins for that. A copper wire you can make pretty easily just by following it back. Uh, and then the last one we have is red alloy cables. And these you need with your red alloy wire. So you may not know how to make red alloy wire. You make it from the plate as usual. Red alloy ingots, which are made from a red alloy dust, which is made in your alloy smelter. Sorry, no, ignore me. Um, in the alloy smelter, here we go. Four redstone dust and one um, copper dust, which you would have, or you can use ingots as well. You can use your copper ingots and redstone dust to make your red alloy ingots, which you can then obviously make into plates and then the wire. And then you basically put rubber sheets with it to get red alloy cables. Now, once we enter LV, I'm going to explain to you in those videos and parts how to do um, the voltages, etc. But the last thing you need here is rubber sheets, which again, you make from a rubber ingot from another casting mold. Rubber ingots are made in the alloy smelter with raw pu raw rubber pulp and the pulp is made um in a steam extractor from your resin and then sulfur dust the um the the ore veins for sulfur dust are only in the never so you need to get deep slate oh deep slate sulfur oh okay maybe they're not just in the never sulfur ore i thought it was only in the never you could get sulfur ore but maybe i'm wrong um it looks like I'm wrong, so I'm going to say I'm wrong. But it may depend on your mod pack anyway, um, that you get sulfur dust, etc. And then you can obviously put that with your um, 
with your raw rubber pulp that I just explained um, to get your rubber ingots, which you then turn into rubber sheets, again with a mould, and then you can make your red ILO cable, and ta-da, you put all of those items together, and you get yourself basic electronic circuits. You are going to need a lot of these, and you're probably already noticing Greg Tech is quite intense with the recipes, etc. You really want to automate, um, or have, like, make tons at a time. I would just make a stack of these, or at least half a stack. Um, you know, you don't want to be making like two resistors and then another two resistors. Just make like a stack of resistors, make a stack of vacuum tubes, make a few stacks of red alloy cable. You need to be bulk crafting or you are going to want to tear your hair out in this mod. But there you go. That is how you make basic electronic circuits. Um, I don't usually go through all the recipes and, and stuff in JEI on how to make items in my guides, but I feel like with these very specific multifaceted ones in Greg Tech at some point, uh, it, it maybe is needed. But there you go. Once you've made them, you can enter low voltage. I hope you did enjoy the video. Click that subscribe button if you did, and of course, leave a thumbs up. If you're looking for other mod guides, I do a hell of a lot on this channel. My actual goal on this channel is to complete every major mod in the entirety of Minecraft for Forge, Fabric, etc. If you look at my channel, I have a tech mod shelf, a magic mod shelf, a utility and standalone mod shelf, so ones that aren't in playlists. I also have now mod pack guides as a shelf. So at the moment, I am live streaming through RLCraft, and you can get that, of course, on my lives. I, sh I live every Wednesday and Saturday. And you can always see when the next scheduled stream is. And I play through the mod pack. And then I will also do separate guides on that mod pack. So if you are looking for specific mod packs, or you just want to come along and ask me some questions or hang out, you can also do that there. Do also just use the search bar uh, if you are looking for a specific mod. And if you'd like to play with me, the mod pack that i do live stream i do from our patreon server which of course you can join down below which would massively support the channel but also gets you access to things like that